Hi, this is Juliana from EFWE Fall 2019, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run the actual project. So, to run the project, the main thing you need is the effort, um, GitHub code, so you open it in Visual Studio. And if you want to test the VPS API, some of the functions here, you would have to also run this. So you have two choices. Either you run both of them in unison so the website shows up and you, it uses this um, API, or you just use Postman to you just run this API alone. So just click Effort uh VBS run and use postman to test it so i'm going to do a video after this one on postman where i'm going to test using um a local server and then i'm going to use the remote one the staging one so watch out for that and yeah the main thing we need is this effort one working so that the website is shows up. So yeah, I have a bunch of things open, but yeah, that doesn't matter. So the first thing you need is you're going to have to do a data migration. Here in the package manager console, there's a video on this channel called Think um, Local Database, and it shows you how to do the data migration. And yeah, it, it all goes here and after you have the data migration and you have the database locally. So this is my local server. Um, I'm in a steel server and here's the database that I got from doing the whole migration and following that video. So once you have that, you can move on to editing this. So to run it locally, you basically, because the multiple startup projects that we're running are effort and we have in web API, so that's where we focus on the changes. So in the app settings for effort, check if you just uh, got it from GitHub, you will have this API set to here. So you want to change this to local host so it opens in a local host. You would want to do something similar here in Web API. Go to the app settings JSON and for the oh, so this you would need to do before the data migration because if you don't have it set to local host, it will not migrate locally here. It, it will say something that it can't find. It can't find it, so change the connection strength to local when you do a data migration. I think that's the only kind. Of you will need it and yeah so that's that that you need to change then I found that I got some issues when I did the startup here this is startup.cf that you can find in the effort what did it say effort what's this path Oh, so here, right here, sorry. Uh, so I got an issue with all of this code, but we don't get an issue on the staging server, so this is just something. Or I don't know if we do get an issue on the staging server, maybe we do. So this code uh, gives me an exception, so I just comment all of that out. So if you're getting an exception somewhere here, just comment all of this out until here. So I don't know if this is implemented or not, or if we put it in there or what. So yeah, I got that issue. And I think there's another issue that sometimes happens that is like somewhere near here. It stops somewhere where there's a JSON. I think here. I applied this change or maybe this is the original one I don't remember I remember to make this stop doing in the ex the exception I had to make a change but then I realized that you could just run it multiple times and it wouldn't be an issue so yeah 
if your code is not like this, make it like this. And if you get an exception here, try to run it again and uh, try starting uh, Redis. So you need to have, I forgot to say this, you need to have Redis running whenever you want to do these two. And I had a video where I um, showed you what it was and everything. That's the setting up video. So check that. Then to set this to multiple um, startup projects, you need to do a left click here and set startup projects. It will, for you, the default would probably be like effort or something. Or maybe web API, but you want to have both of them running because you want the website and its API running at the same time. So yeah, this you would probably have it like that. So you want to set it here and put effort, set it to start, and web API set it to start. So you apply, okay. Now you can start the website. It takes a little time, that's why I use Postman a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys um, in the other Postman video how you can test all of the functions that you may have here using Postman instead of like running the whole thing because it takes a long time. And if you want to run this at the same time, let me see if I had to do any changes. I think this one just I may have to do something in app settings, but I'll check. But I think this one's much easier to start. Let me check app settings. And this, again, you won't always need it. It's only if you want to test the specific thing locally. Yeah, so this is local, so that's good. If you want to uh, test it locally, but I recommend using Postman because it's much faster. As you can see, this takes a long time. So I'm going to wait for this to uh, finish running and I'll come back and post you guys. So while this is still um, trying to get opened, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you run Effort VPS. So it will open this little console thing and this will give you messages, so if you get an error, it's nice to check here and see what's going on. But um, if you stop this and this does not close, make sure to close it manually because um, you will get an error when you start it again that there's already a terminal over there. So yeah. Uh, and what this is supposed to open is this localhost. Um, 5001. This is what it's supposed to look like. If it's it's looking like this, it's correct. So if you get an exception, maybe that says token something Redis, it means that you have to have Redis running. Okay. So you have to do the commands that I showed you in the first video, the setup video. That's a really common mistake. So yeah, once you have that running, you can use Postman to do to test any of the you can see here I'm trying to, this will be more expanded in the Postman video, but I'm trying to test this particular function, the start terminal function. And yeah, uh, all of the API function, functions are in the controller. So here if I go to terminal, uh, here's the start terminal function that I am calling. So yeah, that's just how test it and if you want to test it from the actual website an effort this takes a long time but you want to test that it actually works so you would have to run effort like it's running right now when you run effort it opens two local hosts this is the api and this is the actual website so the actual website is loading but once you have this api loaded you can do calls to it through Postman, so all the, I don't know what this is, all the Postman uh, calls will be done to this API, because this is the, this represents, here, let me see, this represents this, so any calls to the controller, the functions in any of these controllers 
would be um, through this local host using only this. None of those are needed. So now it loaded. So this is my local website that I have. So you can use it like you use the staging one mainly. Some of the data that's on the staging won't be here because here it would be only the default data. So the administrator account would still be there. That's the trader account. The administrator account would still be there with the same password. So don't worry about that. And but it takes a long time for you to get in and everything. That's why I say use Postman. It's much easier. But I'm still going to show you how you can maybe test your VPS through the actual website and not using Postman. Okay, now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go to VPS management and you will have to want to add a server. And the add, let me see, is supposed to have, this is really slow, so I'm just going to show you. Um, the server that I add, the name is supposed to be whatever, you can put it whatever you want. Local server address is supposed to be this, let me see. So this is supposed to be the server address. Not there. Sorry. Make sure it doesn't have a slash at the end, because that throws everything off. The data folder is where you have your terminal. So it will be like the one I showed you in the staging how to connect to remote video. Where I show you the staging server and the data folder in the staging server, but with your user. So if I go here, users, my user and again this is a um, hidden folder so you would have to say app data and go from here roaming metatrader meta quotes sorry not that meta quotes and here terminals so the actual data folder is this. This path. Oh, sorry. So we put it here. Like that. Uh, session, you would put one because that's the session you are on if you're like on your computer. This is. Um, Server name local, let's put that again. So these are the credentials to set your local host here. You can see this is red because this takes in only the URL. And to change that, um, so we don't want local hosts to connect on the actual website, so we don't let deploy it with that change. So if you can you see you put in whatever um, website format and it will work. But to change it so you can allow local hosts, you would go to this model ad server and effort views mt4 server and go to the label uh, data folder path, no server address and change type URL to text and that will allow you to have this local host format. So yeah. That is how you would add the VPS, and if you want to test any of the functions in the VPS API using the actual website, that is how you would do it. Um, but I, again, I recommend Postman, and that's the next video I'm going to be doing. It's how to do all of this, but instead of waiting for the slow, use Postman.